Hey everyone, Aaron here, and this is another anime review, number 92. And today we're looking at Samurai Deeper Kyo. Now, if many of you have never heard of Samurai Deeper Kyo, or if you're like going, what, what is he talking about? I completely understand, this is an old series, this is when I was, this came out when I was, uh, I think around 9 years old, the manga at least, and then the actual anime came out when I was 12 years old. So we're looking at 13 years ago today, almost going on 14. Um... But I'll tell you guys also right now, one of the major plot things I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk about in my review that's going to actually affect the score of it is that this is during the time period of where mangas, even though they weren't finishing, the animes were still finishing the actual series. So what they would do is they still would finish it and give it a whole different ending and a whole different plot line. Think of like Full Metal Alchemist where Full Metal Alchemist is not being done main manga wise, but they still gave the anime an actual finishing. So... I just want you guys to keep that in mind that this is not, once you get to a certain point of the actual anime, the uh, storyline for the manga completely goes off a different pathway. Think of it as a complete and utterly different story toward the end. It, it goes in this kind of wacky sense and it's going to really affect my score for it. But let's talk about Samurai Deeper Kill so you guys know what I'm talking about. So our main character, Mibu Kinshiro, is your kind of random guy. He's a traveling um, medicine seller. And he really doesn't seem like he's anything of an issue. He, he doesn't really talk very much. He just walks around. He's really goofy. And then one day he's approached by Yuya who kind of comes on to him and, you know, uses her sexual self to kind of make him, you know, follow her. And because Mibu is a nice guy and also because he's, he looks at her right away and he sees perverted eyes, he goes after her. You know, I can't blame the guy, right? <laughs> Anyways, though. So Mibu ends up going with her and... Lo and behold, she reveals who her true identity is, is that of a traveling actual mercenary, essentially. She she gets money from bounties. Oh, bounty hunter, I meant to say. Wow, that's a mercenary. But she's also a mercenary a few times on the show, but she's a bounty hunter by, by nature. And she's going after the notorious, the legendary, Deeper Eyes Kyo, who has blood red eyes, who has dark black hair, who has a sword that has cut a thousand men. And, you know... Mibu fits the description up to the point with the red eyes and the actual sword, which his sword is like, again, really discombobulated. It looks like it's a piece of crap. It's falling apart. But he keeps it around just to keep it around. And so, right off the bat, you learn, though, that maybe Kichiro has something that made her think that he was a Samurai Deeper Kill. And this is not really a spoiler, because the first episode, you learn that the body and soul... Of Deeper Eyes Kyo is actually within Mibu. And he actually at certain points when he's in danger or he needs to really fight back becomes Deeper Eyes Kyo. Now there's a reason for that. And it's up to you and now to figure out does she want to follow Mibu around just to you know help him out to, to kind of figure out what's going on with him or does she want to take, take him down when it's convenient to get the bounty which is millions of dollars essentially because he's, he's notorious. Now what the story does very well in the anime wise is it follows up the manga pretty good. It, it's, you know, again, the whole concept of him not knowing that he's got the, the inner self. Well, he kind of, he kind of understands he does have this darker side to him, but he doesn't understand fully what that side is until later on in the show. When you start learning a little bit more about Mibu, he might be hiding more than he thinks he's hiding. And, you know, there's even some little bit of romantic plot between him and uh, a few other girls that show up, but it's not... It's not on harem level or anything like that. It's not that, it's that stupid. This show, I would categorize mostly as an action show. Um, action drama, I want to say, too, maybe. The animation for 2002 was very nice. This is one of the first anime I actually bought the whole collection of. And I'll tell you guys, I love the animation for it. It's still nice even today. You know, it does have its ups and downs because it looks old. It's, again, 2002 animation looks old in, in today's sense. But it does have a lot of nice colors to it. Um... I think the action is probably where the show stands out the greatest. The opening's pretty cool too. I love the opening song for this. But, you know, here's where the issue comes to play. It's not the animation, it's not the voice acting, because the voice acting is all good. Uh, the storyline is pretty good too. It's where the, the, the divergence from the actual manga takes place. When that happens in the plot of Samurai Deeper Kyo, the animation, it goes with this kind of crazy, crazy aspect of. I don't even want to spoil it, but it, it's something out, so outlandish that when he actually meets one of the um, the people that actually infused 
his body into Kyo's body, essentially, you know, put them together. It's a very odd thing that happens. And I'm not, I can't, I don't, I want to spoil it so bad because it's so stupid, but it, it really was what kills the show a little bit at that point. The pacing of the show kind of goes off hilter too. And I'll tell you guys right now, the manga is superb compared to this. Like, I mean, the manga is maybe 15 times better than the actual animation. I mean, the animation's good, but it, it, the manga is way better. It has a more concurrent storyline. It does have a similar concept at one point, but it's not something so outlandish as it is in the um, anime. It's not told in a way that's outlandish either. Now, overall, because this is not really a, a log review since it's an older show, but if I had to review Samurai Deeper Kill A through F, I have to give it a solid C+. I love Deeper Kill. Don't get me wrong. This, this show is awesome. I mean, if you guys notice, my avatar is actually... Um, Mibu at one point of the show at later on where he, where he gets a, a certain kind of concept that happens to him midway through the series. But I love the, I love Samurai Deeper Kill, but at the same time, there's a lot of things about it that when I recommend it to people, I warn them ahead of time, like the, the weird ending, the kind of ho-hum plot line that they try to use instead of the a manga plot line. But, you know, I, I do, at least the reason why I give it a C plus is because despite the actual issues with the plot, at least it has an ending. You know, the ending, as crazy as it is, ends the show. It ends in a way that you won't be like, oh, okay, I, I hate this ending. I'm, I'm so... No, but it ends in a way that's like, okay, at least everything comes to a somewhat closure. But I'll give you, I'll give you guys a big thing, though. If you have to choose between manga reading first and the anime viewing, I'd have to say you read the manga first for this. It's not that hard to get. Um, it might be out of print, so you might have to look up means of reading it. I'm not going to say how to do that. You know, the world of the internet. But, um, I actually own the whole, I actually bought when I was younger, I bought the whole series as every single volume is releasing because I love the, I love Samurai Duper Kill. But, yeah, that's what I would say right now is that it's, the manga is a lot better. So I'd say read the manga first, then go to the anime. Just, that's a personal thing. I mean, you don't have to do that, but that's what I would say to do. So this way, when you do finally get to the ending of the anime, even though it's a little crazy, you'll be like, well, I, I see why they did that. You know? All right. Anyways, guys, that's it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. It helps me out a lot. And as always, guys, until I pass across again in the next review, have a good one, everyone. Bye.